combo is, is going to be pretty similar, so you can almost expect these same matchups to happen at later portions of the bracket, but we'll, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, CPU? Right, right <laughs> Oh Yeah, but, uh, well, you know, Void's at home streaming right now, you know, making some yeah. extra income before he, come, before he comes in uh, tomorrow for the tournament. So, yeah, we'll have to see who's able to come in and uh, really take the whole thing because Void is probably our biggest defender that we're going to have for the U.S. Otherwise, we have potential uh, top four in... <laughs> Top for Japan again. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to see. Alright, so it looks like we're just about to get into it. We're gonna get Pokemon Stadium 2, very common starter stage, and Sue, of course, the patented Lucario. I'm excited to see this. I haven't actually to be perfectly honest, I've barely seen either of these players so far in Ultimate, and yet, like Lucario has gotten some pretty significant buffs in this most recent patch. I mean, pretty much went from the character kind of not working to like now existing in the game and in, in the meta. So let's see what Sue is able to bring to the table with yeah. those changes. Mm -hmm. I have checked the patch notes, but I am not 100% yeah. sure on the applications of like those changes. So we'll have to see how it goes firsthand here in this match right now. You know, of course, uh, pretty standard stuff, you know, just zoning out with yeah. the can and using those projectiles to keep Lucario at a distance away. And then as soon as Sue makes a really big mistake in close quarters, you know, you can get a grab or a potential big combo there. Uh, you can see Sue is carefully uh, maneuvering around the potential of the, the can along with the Frisbee. Mm -hmm. Something that you got to keep in mind when you're playing uh, Duck Hunt is that they're constantly uh, conditioning their opponent by forcing them into certain situations by using the multiple projectiles that they have, mm -hmm. such as the gunman, the can, and the frisbee. Yeah, and I do like how Raito is nullifying the threat of that aura steer because the can just absorbs that yeah. completely. So makes it so that the zoning and the uh, you know the space control that Sue wants to occupy not quite as useful oh, here oh. in this matchup. Oh, okay, trading with the can right there. Uh, I like that attempt from Sue. He actually threw, uh, went off stage and he be reversed uh, Aura Sphere to position himself to get a potential uh, edge guard with a back air. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, didn't work out. Ended up getting the stock anyways. And here he goes, starting with the extra credit. Yeah. Gonna be able to take out that stock. Ooh. Read a jump with the Aura Sphere. And Raito kind of just jumped right into it without thinking about it. Yeah, okay, and uh, we're seeing exactly what Sue was known for back in Smash 4 days, you know, that all screen movement into, like, jump cancel, uh, dare, and stuff like that, so, very great stuff. Alright, right toe coming back with a vengeance, trying to keep Sue's trapped at the ledge, but Sue just answering right back, no fear whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Aura Sphere moving, looking real good from Sue so far, two kills with the Aura Sphere yeah. now, looking real good for Sue right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if... Sue and Raito have played prior to this tournament or how their sets went, but right now it's looking like maybe those those patches, uh, that patch change did help out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, try to cover the inward area too, like you said, with that B-reverse artist sphere. Not quite able to find anything though. Yeah, that's a, a tricky little movement right there because it looks like he's able to position himself. <laughs> the can takes it. I mean, he was a really high percent at that point, but he still got two more stocks. Uh, and Raito halfway into the KO percent right here. Yep, try to find a back air there. It looks like Raito's really having a hard time getting anything started. Finally gonna be able to catch a couple of fares, but so far it looks like Sue is still controlling the match for the most part. Regardless of whether or not the can is covering up where the R-Sphere is gonna be, I think that Sue is doing a good job of following up anyway and making sure that whatever Raito tries to occupy afterwards, after the R-Sphere interaction, is good at following up there too. Okay, you can see Sue just backing up not wanting anything to do with this can and just charging Aura Sphere at the ledge right here. Such a strong like ledge trapper that Lucario is. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Double team? Uh, yeah. Was that what it's called? Um, I don't remember actually what Lucario's counter is supposed to be. I believe as a, his. Yeah, I believe his is double team because extreme he, like, speed is up uh, the up special. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. Double team is because he like turns into yeah, three of him or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but uh, so far Sue looking really good. You know, pressing a lot of that B button it is <laughs> working out and like it did in Smash Four. So Sue looking like his old self right now. Yeah, absolutely. Looking like that uh, Sue who, you know, brought himself up to fame when he came over to the U.S. for the first time back at Frostbite. Uh, what was that? 2016? 17? 17? 16? Yeah, 17. Yeah, you're right. Yes, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I didn't go this, this year. So. Nice. All right. And so that's switching to Joker, even though he two-stocked it. Dang, Interesting. <laughs> that's the, the Japanese way.
Yeah, I mean, he's been playing Joker a lot of this bracket. Maybe he thinks uh, Raito's uh, not ready for the Joker. We'll have to see. And already getting that little extra damage with the Yeehaw. Yeah, potentially he also might think like, okay, Raito definitely like is going to be able to adapt to my Lucario. So I'm going to throw a different character at him. I'm confident in this character as well. But if it doesn't work out, I can go back to my Lucario with a fresh mindset. And also Raito will have to adjust to the, this mm. sudden change. Ooh, so far, it's looking really good. Yeah. Yeah. So looking like he uses uh, take aim a little bit more than Abadango did with his uh, with his Joker, and already looking like it's doing well so far. You know, he's stuffing him both like uh, trying to do an aerial approach and stuffing him on the ground as well. So very nice stuff so far. Keeping a good job at the ledge traps as well. Yeah, I mean, that was something that you, you can see like Sue was really strong at. I mean, just the aura sphere alone is good at like ledge trapping. You can throw it out; it covers a lot of options, especially fully charged. Mm -hmm. But Joker has a little bit more tools here, and it's really showing with uh, Sue at the at the mantle. Yeah, and I, I love that actually because Raito is really good with using the can to cover himself while he is trying to recover back from the stage. But take aim just completely nullifies that, takes away the can, takes it away even more than the R Sphere did actually. And he's using that too with uh, his neutral approaches as well because he's staying in an area when he approaches from above where can and Claymore or excuse me Clay Pigeon won't be able to really reach him anyway. So he just gets free damage on Raito and it just adds up constantly. Could you imagine if if. Uh... <laughs> Duck had a claymore. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, it's like, what is this Pokemon Sword and Shield? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But here we go. Oh, looks like he's gonna get an up air. But yeah, take aim. It co it's just do so good at stuffing out what Ryder wants to do. But there we go. Navigates right underneath it. Is able to get that up air to close out the stock. Yeah, even stocks. Forty-five percent here uh, behind for Rido. Not too bad actually. If he can get one conversion, it should be about even almost. Mm -hmm. I like what he did there too, he used the Rebel's Guard. You can hold that for a very long time, so you can just hold it until the the gunman is able to shoot out his shot and then yeah, he's almost got full meter and he's barely got taken any damage so far. Yeah. Uh, Rebel's Guard definitely very good. It, it stays out a long time, like about two seconds as you mentioned. It, it can be a double-edged sword because if you're just kind of throwing it out willy-nilly or, or your opponent baits it out, they can just wait until the blue disappears and it has a substantial amount of end lag as well. So you can charge up a smash attack if they're a high percent or just grab them out of it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's just like almost did it right there. Let's All see what right. he's going to do. Another take aim, potentially for the edge guard. Oh, oh, he actually catches him off guard anyway, so he's not able to make it back. Yeah, only 49% here on Sue, looking really good on this second stock. Mm -hmm. Dude, looking like Japan might just 3-0 each other. Like, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> you almost said you would expect it to be like Game 5 mm -hmm. all the time. Though. Yeah, not quite though, not even in, the, oh. in their own region. Great can setup, of course. Raito always familiar with those opportunities that he has presented. Another take aim though, stuffs him out and forces out a low recovery. I mean, those guns are just... Who brought guns in this match, man? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not the first, right? Yeah, yeah. His Fal Falcon yeah. has a gun. He just doesn't <laughs> use it. His, mo his mom did it too, you know, Bayonetta. All right, but anyways, here we go. Oh, oh, oh dude, oh. that was so <laughs> sick. The single shot with the gun straight into the down air. That was so beautiful. I mean, yeah. I don't think that was true, but it caught Raido completely off guard. I mean, yeah, that was would like you expect? <laughs> that was like, like hell no. Okay. That was like next level conditioning. He's like, okay, sick. I'm going to keep going with these con consistent bullets, so you're going to have to force a DI in consistently. And then right to so it's like, okay, he's just going to do the same thing again. It's like, single shot, boom, there. And then yeah. he's done already. The, ma oh, the main difference was like, every time that Sue went with that edge guard with the gun, he would he would do a single shot with the gun and then do the rainstorm, right? right the downward yeah. version. Mm -hmm. um, that time he mixed it up. And it yeah. worked out. And dude, is he just going like, Three different characters already. He went yeah. Ken. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm excited to see this though. To another character who went from uh, not existing in the game to now being viable. Yeah, I mean he did have a Ryu back in Smash Four, so Makes definitely sense. familiar with how to play with Shoto. The Shoto. And uh, my knowledge of Ken is completely whack right now, just because the patch kind of just brought him back into <laughs> into the light. So we're gonna have to see, and we're gonna have to learn how uh, Ken plays in this. Uh, in this match specifically here. Sure, the interesting thing about Ken that's a little bit different than Ryu is that he can like cancel into his, his uh, specials. So it provides for a lot of really interesting combos, but what an edge guard coming out from Raito. One thing that I think Ken does suffer against is actually characters who are able to zone him out, which Duck Hunt has tons of tools to do that. Mm -hmm. Alright, just figuring out his way in right now. Okay, there we go. It's that. Move in. 
yeah, just continuing on with the can setups. There we go. Going to be able to shield that can. Oh, he's really looking for that edge guard. But there's the Shoryuken. Another spot dodge. Yeah, these two kind of going back and forth. But right now, Raito still in control of the match. Oh, yeah. Great setup there. Continuing on the damage. I just want to say, like, straight up, I, I, I have friends who play this match. I even beat a, a Ryu, I mean, a Ken in, in bracket today. But I still don't know exactly what moves are because there's some moves that Ken has. He has he has more moves than even Ryu has, right? Yeah. He, has, he has extra inputs. Mm -hmm. Um... So he has moves that look like smash attacks, which are actually like his hard input tilts. Yeah, like yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that. Like that it's definitely pretty difficult because I know a lot of people were saying that, hey, if you're picking up Ken, remember, most smash characters have 16 moves. Yeah. Ken has like 28 or 32, <laughs> something like that. It's so, wild. Oh, For boy. Sure. Yeah, we got to read up about this character when we go home today. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Especially if Sue like wants to bring him out tomorrow. It's like, uh, I don't want to look a fool. But yeah, yeah. excuse <laughs> us tonight while we uh, just... You know, go and do our research. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. But of course, we can talk about still Raito tacking on that damage. Of course, the can setups are always very familiar, especially even in the Smash 4 days. So, you know, just continuing on what he does best. And yeah, like you said, Ken is kind of having a hard time just approaching in this matchup. He hits hard, but one of the big things I feel like I've seen people talk about Ken's weakness is that he just can't approach sometimes. Yeah. But when he finally does approach, then he hits like a freaking truck. Ooh, okay, he actually managed to avoid, despite the multi-hit on the uh, up smash, he only got hit by one hit and was able to land with the focus attack. Mm -hmm. All right, jab comes in. Okay. Nice. Yeah, he's looking for that kill right now. He's looking for something into the medium Shoryuken. Not quite fighting anything yet, though. Yeah, he's really struggling right here. 143%. Uh, Raito still with two stocks intact. Really just can't find any opening, and, and the can is, like, really, like, his worst nightmare right now. Mm -hmm. Definitely making things a lot more difficult, especially when he's trying to figure out how he's landing, too, because he's doing the B-reverse can, and that covers one side of him as well. So we'll have to see Great Perry coming in, too. And I love how Raito still is respecting Sue's space. He's not trying to push to kill. Finally going to yeah. be able to condition the shield off of that. But he's not trying to push to kill, knowing that Ken can kind of bring things back at any time so he's still playing the matchup how you should you know keeping Ken away keeping him at bay trying to zone him out maybe uh, Ken is having flashbacks to Guile <laughs> over in Street Fighter 5 <laughs> oh okay he didn't eat too hard of a punish right there but he's set up with that forward air for the Ken edge guard and Raido taking the two stocks too kind of beating himself up over there like saying like man I, I was up so strong I kind of like was feeling myself too much I was like I can do this with any character mm -hmm. but the Ken, maybe, I, I expect him to put it back in the pocket right now. He's probably going to pull out the Lucario or the Joker since both of those characters did phenomenally in this matchup so far. Um, but I also wouldn't be surprised if he just tried a, th a fourth character right now. No, uh, he's going back Lucario, Lucario yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see what Raito does. He looks like he's thinking about something. He's, thi <laughs> he's thinking. <laughs> nah, he's going duck hunting. No, no. <laughs> he even has a dog on his shirt. Like, come on, Raito. Who, who, are, you who are you trying to fool here? Alright, so this is game number four. Sue's still up two to one, but Raito uh, definitely has a ton of momentum coming off of that last game, especially since uh, Ken, or Sue wasn't able to really do anything with Ken. Yeah. Alright, steady neutral from both of these two. Sue not really committing too hard, but finally going to be able to sneak his way it needs underneath the can. There we go. It's a little bit of damage there. For sure, both players playing somewhat passively, using uh, their long range or, or their projectiles to keep each other at bay. Makes sense that they would want to respect each other so much, especially Raito, who's trying to make up this deficit, get, bring it to a game five, and Sue, who just wants to close it out with the mm -hmm. with the three one. Right. Oh, that was an opportunity there. Drifted a little bit too far in, but Sue not gonna be able to find that opportunity. Nice. Beautiful conversion. Back thrown into the can and following up with a forward air, man. Mm -hmm. What amazing prowess Raito shows with this character. He's been doing it since Smash 4, and he's going to do it here today with an ultimate. Yeah. I feel like Raito, just in general, he has like a 90 to 95% success rate on getting those can combos, which I think just shows to the, his level of competence and consistency with this character, right. of course. Yeah, man. The best to do it. Mm-hmm. But both of these two oh. not quite getting anything. They're just kind of struggling to get the kill right now. Sue looking like he's trying to find something here. Not quite.
Yeah, just okay. Here's a grab from Raito. Mm -hmm. There we go. Down the oh, oh, okay. okay. I mean, he was straight up, so I don't know if that was bad DI or if it was just going to be a KO. At probably that a, probably yeah. a DI trap. Yeah. I think he wanted to DI out for the fourth throw and then DI'd in for, ended up, uh, or DI, he wanted to DI in for the fourth throw and then ended up DIing in for right. the and he went down throw instead up, up. Yeah. yeah. Probably easy kill for Raito there. Oh, here's the can. Gunman. Oh, forcing the air dodge, and Raito going to just hit it with, with the forward air. Yeah, try to get that force bomb out. Not going to be able to find anything. And every single trade that suit or excuse me, Raito gets is a big victory for uh, for him right now. Absolutely, man. He's at 139, but it's looking really, really good. Yeah. And, and and I totally expected to see what we're watching right now is that once one of these two players got the first stock, they were just gonna continue with that like very evasive passive playstyle. The force bomb will net to that stock, but he's down by 90% right here. He does have aura and rage, so he can make that percentage up really quickly but that's if he's actually able to get in on Raito which is not looking too easy right now mm -hmm. able to get that recovery in Ooh. oh but gets a little bit too greedy at the ledge trying to get a reversal and then Raito's just one step ahead just jumps around and gets it back here yeah man I think the way things are going I feel like Sue switching to so many different characters may have been his downfall because at this point Raito has been playing the same character for the past four games so he's he's got momentum. He really knows what he's doing. And Sue switched off of his his main character for two other games, and now has to readjust to playing his character. So mm -hmm. that, that's kind of what it's looking like to me right now. Right. He's still trying to figure out his way in. I think a, a lot of this hill, hill went up because of how Raito was able to get the first stock. So now all of a sudden Sue has to figure out how to make his way in. And it's not quite happening, and you can see the lead is just slowly fading away. You know that. Lucario can always get a good kill, but uh, or especially with Aura, but it's just not looking like it's happening. Yeah, I mean, you can see Raito, he's, he's totally content to just sit back, leave the can uh, on the center stage just to kind of control neutral, use it to, like, pull himself out of very, like, dire situations. Mm -hmm. Combo break in certain situations as well. He's trying to find a kill with the ledge trap. Oh, but the can's going to interrupt that. Okay. Yeah, these man, Zeus can't catch a break oh. right now. Oh, that yeah. is definitely oh. not a thing anymore. But you know what? <laughs> if you get hit by it, you get hit by it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they patched that out a long time ago. <laughs> they, they, they did patch it out, but I, I think it still works, especially if like your opponent di's in. And yeah, and yeah, yeah. I think what happened was like you can't chain it together as many times as you could okay, prior okay. to the to the patch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, either that or it can also it's not as easy as well mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, I remember watching Nintendo and he like got it like consistently added, like every single Ooh, time during the, in that first pet <laughs> yeah sure, dude, <laughs> that I, I remember like commentating a match of his at hat and just like losing it because I was like whoa that's a thing that was the first time I saw it on commentary <laughs> or just in general <laughs> alright so we do have game five here between Team Japan Sue and Raito I can almost assure you this will be Lucario versus Duck Hunt Dog, man. If Sue switches to another character, I would be shocked. I'm, wa I'm waiting for Sue to switch to another <laughs> character. Dude, Raito's <laughs> trying to mix it up, too. <laughs> Raito's, like, looking at Sue, like, okay, come on, who are you going to play? Who are you going to play? <laughs> Dang, counter picked the all straight up. All right. All right, went with the, went with the Joker this time. I mean, this is the other character that he found success with. Uh, and it looked really, really good, especially uh, with the edge guards. Gun was getting him so much percentage and just edge guards, period. Like, he was yeah. getting those KOs. Mm -hmm. All right. Pretty slow pace match considering. But yeah, he uses take aim and into the rainstorm. Able to get notable amount of damage and a grappling hook combo. Yeah, man. 64% already onto Raido here. Mm -hmm. Very nice stuff so far. Yeah, just gonna sit back. He's got this percent lead. He's like, ah, you know what? I can sit back. Beautiful conversion. Mm -hmm. I love it how he combos after the rainstorm into right. like a back or another aerial, just to be able to extend it further. Yeah, man. Rainstorm is so useful, especially because of how like low hit stun it is. Y you land on your opponent with that, it, it converts into so many things. You get a grab. You get aerials. It's, oh my god, beautiful tech from Raido right there. Mm -hmm. Just prolonging his stock a little bit longer. Okay, down smash. Puts him on to the other side. Another take aim situation, yes. Hits a can away so that Raito can't be protected at the ledge. All but right. he's able to make it back and just barely escape death. Alright, gotta watch the meter right about now. Arsene about to be live. A footstool too. This is the perfect 
scenario for Sue to have. He's got a stock up. He's only at 50%. And there he is. Persona Awakened. This, he's going to be able to do so much damage. Mm -hmm. That's if Sue even like wants to like it. Because it, it really looks like he's just going to you know sit here, use Aha against the can, throw him up. Oh my god, dude. Aha doing so much right here. Mm hmm yeah, I mean, he's. I think he's doing a, lot of a better job at zoning than Raito is right now, just because that projectile moves so fast. Ooh, try to get it into it there, but he kind of popped the wrong way, so not able to find that. And yeah, you know what? Even up the percents after our sand is gone, so you know that's a victory in my book if I've ever seen one. Yeah, even percents, but down by a whole stock. Raito's yet to find this KO. He does have a bit of momentum here. Oh, the drag down up air into the down smash, putting him off stage. Yep, looking like is a cheat there. Yes, yeah. he is. Oh, God. Sue looking so good. Sub 100%, three stocks intact. It's kind of like Sue was saying, you know what? I wanted to give you a chance with that Ken and the back with the Lucario, but it looks like the Joker is just doing a, such a good job on this matchup in particular. That's just going to go right around the can, but reads the jump. Very nice stuff. Right, I like that. Uses Yeeha to <laughs> sit, send the can the other way so it won't be a threat over in neutral. And yeah, he's just free to you know do damage onto Raito as much as he pleases. Right, dash attack here. Single gun. Tries to follow up the forward air. He's just going to air, air dodge back to the stage. Sue definitely playing with a ton of fire. And he gets Arsene off of that can. Really great Rebels guard. Mm -hmm. Parry into the forward tilt. And again, one more time. Down right. gun. Take aim comes in. Oh, oh, into the fair. Very nice stuff. I love how he uses take aim to be able to condition edge guards like that. Yeah. So that's a 3-2. That's a 3-2, <laughs> three, two. Three, two. yeah. Yeah. Really solid stuff. I mean, it, it really, like, he really did give Raido a chance with, with the Ken. That gave him a little bit of confidence. He was able to defeat the Lucario. But the games that Sue played Joker weren't even close, man. Yeah. It really... I, it made me believe, like, dude, is Sue actually a Joker main? He's not a Lucario main anymore? <laughs> like, damn. I believe it. Yeah. Alrighty. So, uh, you know, uh, Japan, uh, win <laughs> oh, I mean, by extension, Japan winners finals as well. So we got Sue and Kamen Man going in right now. So uh, we'll right. have to see how these two go down. I haven't quite seen a set from these two yet, so we'll have to see. Yeah, exciting stuff here at the Mango kickoff event. If you're just joining us, my name is Edmund. This is Sedge. Uh, we're really excited for this, and hopefully you guys are too. So definitely be sure to uh, follow the channel, follow us, and tune in tomorrow because tomorrow the main event, the the, the uh, what's it called? It's called the, the, the kid, the kid, the goat, the mango. The kid, the goat, the mango. Oh man, I could have made that so hype. <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> uh, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the main event is tomorrow. Uh, tune in for that. It's gonna be a two-day event. It's gonna be a lot of hype and a lot of the. Um, Nintendo World Champion uh, chip players are here, so they're going to be attending. Uh, I believe they have, if, if they're attending the tournament, they have Sunday pools, so look look forward to that as well. Yeah. Definitely tune in all, both days. In the meantime, we have winner's finals. It's Sue versus Kamehameha. Mm -hmm. Interesting, all right. Kamehameha going straight to the Sheik.